Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this uh, bathroom over here. So let's continue it. So very first of all, we'll be uh, creating this glass stuff. So for that, what I'll be doing is like I'll be going over here and I'll just make a take a line tool and I'll make something over here a bracket so push this bracket a bit up so let's go into this and rectangle reduce this so I'll just resize this stuff so what I'll do is I'll just push this over here and push it a bit over here and go to the top view and just push it inside and increase its length so just increase its length, go on increasing its length till here. So once you have increased its length over here, now let's go into this view or you can just go into the side view over here and let's take a box or not a box or you can just go into the top view and just take a line and place it over here that's it so select this and definitely reduce the length of it first so let's push it up more so adjust it increase its length accordingly oops this is also going too high so let's uh, convert to poly and let's push this up till here now Till here. All right. So you can just go into this and you can just increase its width, select this and push it in this way. Much better. So definitely, let's go. We are going to place a loop over here. So let's uh, place a loop right here. All right. So save your file first. So just give one color to it right. now so we are going to create this uh, WC over here for creation of that let's take a box right from the top view over here 
so let's just push it up so we'll just increase its height a bit till here and width will make it this much is okay and we'll just push it up above ground okay that's static on the ground so we'll make it as zero so let's convert to editable poly over here and let's first duplicate it and keep it as it is go over here let's insert some loops over here so I'll go over here insert some loops insert two loops over here so let's go into this and select this press R and scale it select this R and scale it so let's use one swift loop over here scale it so let's go into the top view select this three and just push it a bit in front better so back side will remain as it is and from the side view uh, this is going to go inside more and from this view this is going to go inside more so much better so we can just scale it in this way so let's go into the edge over here ring and just uh, connect this push it select this just push it to the right so let's go over here and let's put one loop over here so into the vertices I will just push it back go into the polygons so let's extrude it up so before doing this extrusion let's bevel it and just push this up so we need to push this till here much better a bit down perfect and make sure uh, we need to just adjust this all a bit in front go to the top view again take a box over here and just push this up so poly edges two three okay again select this edge ring and connect it I just need one connect ok 
perfect now uh, you can just push it a bit behind all right make sure you are just perfectly adjusting it according to this So I'll go over here, select the vertices and just push this up and just push this down. Let's put one swift loop. And give a chamfer, a bit of chamfer to it. So if you want you can just push this up. So before doing this, uh, select this polygon, insert it and use a bevel inside and scale. So just select this and just give a chamfer and end isolate. Yes. All right. So still uh, we need to adjust this bottom part so if you go from the front view if you see this it's very thick so let's scale a bit now that looks much better so from this that's your side view you can just push it like this go to the top let's put one swift loop over here put one swift loop over here and here select this edge and use a bit of extrude So select this, select this, select this all and use a gem for and click OK. That's it. So I think uh, once you're done with this, uh, I'll just put some swift loop over here, 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 here. And let's go into it and let's give a mesh smooth. So if you want to give a bit of a mesh smooth to it, so you can just give a mesh smooth. So select this again, again use a swift loop. So give a mesh smooth on top of it and let's give this also as mesh smooth. So before assigning this as a mesh smooth, uh, let's put some segments, one over here, one over here, here, here and here. 
and let's give us that's it. All right. So let's do this. Let's go back to the camera view. You can see this stuff. Perfect. All right. So save your file over here. Again, go over here. So the main thing over here is like uh, let's put one loop because it's looking more rounded over here. So let's place one loop over here and here. That's it. All right. So for the shower part, let's create the shower part. It's very easy over here. So let's take a box over here. Let's go to the front view. So from this, let's activate the auto grid over here. Now I can just push this. So convert to editable poly, press 4, insert this and let's extrude this out, so just extrude this out, just scale it more, just extrude this out. and again go into this and save this file again let's use a put a loop over here let's go into this polygons and use a bit of inset scale it and extrude it down push it up so now again I uh, will take a box and for the shower you can just push it up scale it in this way better so we don't have that much of details so we'll just uh, go over here I'll just convert to poly and I'll put one loop over here I'll go into this and just give a very small chamfer or you can just chamfer it looks much better okay, check for it. All right. so go over here and push this down that's it all right so just save your file over here so let's get back to your camera view so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial